Hey everybody. So this next video is going to be talking about the second type of bone ossification, and this is known as endochondral ossification. So important to keep in mind the terms endo and chondral. So endo is going to be on the inside of the chondral, which is the cartilage. So with that said, endochondral, endochondral ossification is bone formation using cartilage as the model which makes sense, right? So cartilage is going to grow first. We're going to see the cartilage present. And from there, within the cartilage, we're going to see ossification occur. So in the center of the model is going to be something called primary ossification. So this is where primary, the first location where we're going to see ossifying bones form. So with that said, in primary ossification, the cells in the perichondrium are going to develop into the periosteum. So as we mentioned before, the periosteum is going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, lining the inside of the medullary cavity, right? That hollow space within the middle of the long bone where we're going to find the blood marrow, the bone marrow. <clears throat> that said, in the center of this model, the periosteum is going to form and then osteogenic cells are going to develop and produce bone on the outside of the the periosteum, which makes sense because again, if we're looking at the model, the bone marrow is going to be on the inside, right? So the first thing that's going to develop is that periosteum location, and then we're going to build bone on the outside of that, All right? So another image we can see right here, we start off with this cartil uh, cartilaginous model, so it's going to be cartilage, and then the periosteum is going to form, and then from there, we're going to start to see the bone growing on the direction outward of the periosteum. So again, where all the compact bone is. That said, that is primary ossification. Secondary ossification is what's going to happen afterwards. The first thing that's going to happen is we're going to develop those bones. From there, secondary ossification is really the elongation of the bones when they're going to get longer over time. And at birth, we're going to see these secondary ossification centers form at the epiphyses of the long bones. In other words, these are going to be the growth plates. So going back to this image here, I know I'm going back and forth and all around, but going back to this image right here, we started off with cartilage. We started some primary ossification within the bone. And then eventually what's going to happen is you're going to see that the long bone is basically formed. And now we're going to start to see secondary ossification. Secondary ossification is going to happen at the epiphyses, as you can see right here. And again, up top here. So at the ends of the long bone. From there, they're going to continue to grow and elongate. And as you can see right here, the bone's getting longer, but there's still these little white areas at the epiphyses where there's cartilage. That cartilage is going to continue to grow and divide. And by doing so, elongate the bones. And then ossification is going to continue to happen. Eventually, it's going to seal off. All right. And then there's no more epiphyseal, uh, epiphyseal plates. And there is no more growth plate, same thing, and therefore growth stops happening. That's why during uh, puberty and all throughout childhood, really, when, when children are growing, they're going, their bones are going to continue to elongate because of the presence of this epiphyseal plate, growth plate. All right, eventually when it seals off, it's done growing, and then from there, your bones are as long as they're going to become. So with that said, if you have any questions on endochondral ossification, please let me know.